today I have a tutorial for y'all. This is going to be teaching you how to do the glitch mask transition on Final Cut Pro. Let's get right into it. So first you want to find a clip. I usually choose one of someone taking a photo with an iPhone or someone taking a photo with a camera. There has to be some sort of frame that you're going to be able to use this transition in. Okay. Anything along those lines is fine. After that you basically want to take your clip and you, the first thing you want to do is you want to draw a mask. So you're going to go draw a mask and drag it on. After you've dragged it on to your clip, you, it's going to ask you to add a control point. So you want to click around this square area and that is going to simply just mask this general area out. After you've done this, you just want to click this little check mark here, right here. It's going to say invert mask. You don't want to click that. And we can make this a little bit better here. It's just so it's, yeah. And after you want to click that, basically all you want to do is you want to bring this to a starting point. So let's say this is our starting point. So we want the, at least the transition from here. We want it, we want it to, to follow. So you, you have to keyframe it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to control points, click keyframe, go back to transform, click keyframe on position. After you've done that, you want to move down and just move it along those lines so it's keeping up with the actual iPhone screen. You just want to keep following it for has however long you think you want this transition to be. It doesn't honestly have to be too long. So I'm gonna stop it right about there. Let's see if that looks good. We're gonna drag this back here. So see if that looks good. So yeah, that looks pretty good so far. You are gonna want to find another clip that's gonna be the clip that's gonna shoot through. So it's gonna look, I'm gonna use the same clip as I did before, so it's gonna be just this one right here. And we're gonna put this down here. I'm gonna put this right about in the middle of my clip right around here, okay? So as you can see, it's gonna kind of appear in in like the, the middle of this clip right here, okay? It doesn't look like anything now, but it will in a second, I promise, I promise. Let's split this in half like so. And then after that, I want you to come over here and click on this frame. And we're gonna go Ken Burns. This is gonna be the zoom effect. So we're gonna click this, drag it in until you get to pretty small. So you're gonna Ken Burn that into the phone. So it looks like it's zooming in. So you're gonna click done after that. And it's gonna look a little bit like this. All right. So that's your first kind of steps towards the transition. And all we need to do now is we need to do the glitch. So what I usually recommend to do this, is go on Safari, type in glitch effect on YouTube, go to anything you can find on the internet. Literally there are so many creative possibilities that you can use for this tutorial. But basically I went to the internet, I picked a certain glitch effect, and I'm just gonna drag that glitch effect right under it to show you guys exactly how this thing is gonna is gonna work. So this is a little too big, so we're gonna take this, chop this up, take this down, delete this. Alright. So basically what we have here is the glitch effect. So this is kind of I want this to be a little bit like this. So yeah. Basically, that is honestly how you do the effect. After that, you may need to add some of your sound designs because obviously those are the most important things when you are doing stuff like this. If you want people to be intrigued in watching your videos, you have to put sound behind it or else people are gonna think it's boring because sound effect videos are boring. Bitch, you guessed it. Right. You're gonna go find some awesome glitch sound effects on the internet once again. So we're gonna take a simple glitch effect that I downloaded 
and drag that down, drag it under. So basically that is how you do your transition. If, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope it was quick and easy for you. And yeah, um, make sure you guys like that button. Leave a comment down below and show some love.